Mission Station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground, your weekly look at what's happening on board the International Space Station. I'm Dan Hewitt. Two of station's rookie crew members got to stretch their spacewalking legs for the first time this week. Astronauts Reed Wiseman and Alexander Gers completed a six-hour, 13-minute spacewalk on Tuesday. They relocated a failed pump unit, swapped out a broken camera light, and provided a new source of power to the station's mobile rail system. They completed every task set for them without a problem, even had a few minutes to snap a few out-of-this-world selfies. Reed Wiseman will head out the door again with astronaut Butch Wilmore on Wednesday, October 15th for the second spacewalk of Expedition 41. This month, NASA is joining the world to set our crosshairs on cancer, with studies happening on board the station right now to find better ways to combat the disease. One new experiment called drug metabolism is trying to repurpose a treatment already used for diabetes that shows some promise in fighting tumors. The study uses yeast as a model organism, since it's been extensively studied and shares many genes relevant to human disease. Another way station research is working off the Earth for the Earth. This week's Twitter question comes from Rodrigo, who wants to know if total lunar eclipses look different from the ISS. Well, flying 260 miles above the Earth provides some pretty unique views, but this week's eclipse was actually one time you probably had a better seat here on Earth. All of the light illuminating the moon during a lunar eclipse is refracted by the Earth's atmosphere, which means the red color is visible whether you're on Earth or in space. Unfortunately for the ISS crew, they didn't get to see it this time around, but one camera on the outside of the station was able to catch a quick glimpse. Make sure to keep sending your questions and comments using the hashtag space to ground And if you aren't already, make sure to follow us on Twitter at space underscore station. You'll get the latest news from humanity's home 260 miles above and updates from the men and women that make space flight possible, like former station residents Chris Cassidy and Luca Parmitano, who apparently didn't get their fill of working out two hours a day while in space. They're set to participate in the Ironman World Championship in Hawaii on Saturday. Astronauts, we'll see you next week.